in the spirit of the Anthony Joshua and Annie Ruiz fight coming up, since I am making videos about them today, I'm still on the same video. Once again, Matchroom Boxing is the YouTube channel. Go and subscribe to it. Go check out the video. I think it's a great behind the scenes uh, video. Very well done. Um, I'm taking another little snippet, about one minute snippet. And I thought was a, a, a very interesting um, from AJ. Um, now see me personally, it might just because I haven't been checking for his side of the things, or maybe just because Eddie Hearn interviews always pop up in my YouTube feed. But um, I thought it was finally nice to hear Anthony Joshua's side about what happened with the Luis Ortiz debacle basically after big baby miller got popped everyone wanted to see luis ortiz with anthony joshua there was talks about it happening excuse me there was even a contract sent over um but it never got finalized from anthony joshua's team side they said it was because luis ortiz he just ducked that's what they were saying they said he just didn't want it because they, they, they said that they offered him a substantial amount of money while on Luis Ortiz's side, they said that he got lowballed. They said that they sent an offer that they knew that Luis Ortiz would not want. Now, um, not not that I did extensive research on this, more so just in my feed, what popped up was more so uh, Luis Ortiz team side and them coming out and talking a lot about it. Where when it came to Anthony Joshua uh, side, of course Eddie Hearn came out here and there. Um, excuse me, uh, Eddie Hearn came out here and there, uh, basically. You know, claiming that uh, Luis Ortiz's side was uh, lying. So it was a lot of back and forth. Um, but this is the first time, um, you know, I happen to hear, uh, I'm happy to see uh, Anthony Joshua speak on the matter. So I thought I'd let y'all check that out too. My front runners have been uh, Wilder, Fury, but then they've been busy. So my next front runner was Ortiz. Um, news is out there. Made a lucrative offer. Look, it was, it was short notice, but it was short notice for me fighting the South Pole. I would have rather had a 13 week camp, but I thought, you know what, let's rock and roll, it's what people want to see. Um, offered him above his pay station. Hmm. I think it's always a good incentive. We always talk about finances because it incentivizes people, doesn't it? So we offered him a lucrative deal um, and he turned it down, but I'm sure we'll be uh, negotiating with him sooner or later, providing I get past Andy. And then Andy stepped up to the plate, so I've got to give him his credit and respect. Yeah, he's a good fighter. He, 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 um so yeah, um, not much insight into the situation. Um, obviously, this is a, not a long video, and it's not about that, so they're not going to talk too much about it. But um, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was very interesting what Anthony Joshua said. Um, obviously, I heard a little bit of Eddie Hearn in him when he said they offered him an a, a amount of money that was above his pay station. One, how would you know what his pay station is? Because you want it. Two, oh well Eddie Hearn knows it how would he know because he won it right um, now see they may be able to have access to the purses that they've made um, on their last couple of fights but at the end of the day you don't know what back you know under under the table type deal Eddie Hearn may have with his fighters or you know um, you know, when it comes to advertisement uh, dollars or um, um, I'm sorry, I said advertising. Uh, when it comes to sponsorship money that they're getting, like you don't know any of that. So, and you, you, that I kind of I'm like, mm. uh, but for him to say that they offered him a lucrative deal, I do believe they did. But I do believe Ortiz wanted more, and I do believe that same contract they offered Ortiz, they offered to Ruiz, and Ruiz was good with it because at the end of the day, everyone has to remember when it comes to Ortiz. Ortiz knows he has that Wilder fight coming up. He knows he has it. So think about this. If he potentially loses to Joshua, how many people still want to see that Ortiz versus Wilder too? Because I'm like, let's be honest. People do want to see that. Uh, people do want to see Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz too. Don't get me wrong. But since it's been a minute since, you know, they last fought and then Wilder had that um, crazy fight with Fury, like kind of Ortiz has been pushed to the back of our minds. So that fight isn't as like highly anticipated as people want to, you know, want to see. If y'all remember, um, in that post-fight interview after the Wilder versus uh, Brazil fight, or they they brought Ortiz in the ring. No one really cared. No one gave him no attention. 
including Wilder. <laughs> Wilder didn't even pay him no mind. So what I'm saying is um, Ortiz knows that the hype behind the Wilder fight isn't what it's supposed to be at this point. But at the same time, Wilder f signed a three fight deal with PBC and one of those opponents are Ortiz. So the guaranteed money is probably already set or at least he has an idea of how much money he should be making for that fight, right? So if he's not gonna get more money to be a replacement to fight Joshua than he is for the potential Wilder fight, why would he take that fight? You see what I'm saying? Because if he loses to Joshua, that fight with Wilder, what they're gonna end up doing is they'll probably end up um, 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 paying him less because the buzz isn't what it what, what it's supposed to be even though it already isn't how big it's supposed to be the fact that ortiz is still on the streak and he hasn't lost since wilder means something so him losing to get someone like joshua and then fighting wilder honestly me personally that actually might make the fight bigger but in al Heyman's head he doesn't want that and so since al Heyman is controlling this fighter or managing this fighter he's going to tell him or he's going to tell his man uh he's going to tell whoever uh uh, is doing the, the business talks for Ortiz he's gonna tell him hey look I understand you want this fight and I understand if you win it it'll change Ortiz's whole world but I just want you guys to keep this in thought if you take a less amount of money from him and you lose you're not gonna get the same amount of money when you fight Wilder there even let me say this I don't even know if you're gonna be able to fight Wilder so you gotta be smart you gotta be smart so you know it's a business and it's always about business when it comes to money and boxing it's a lot more complicated than what um a lot of people make it out to be like, oh, he's just ducking. Oh, he doesn't want to fight him. Oh, he's scared. No, you have to understand these people, these athletes, these are athletes. They want to get paid money. That's like being like, okay, Golden State, y'all going to, uh, I'm sorry, Golden State, uh, y'all going to play Toronto in the finals. But guess what? Um, we're going to, uh, we're going to dock all y'all, uh, 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 um, uh, salaries by like 10%. But wait, this is the most viewed. A, te a television uh, a event of the year. We're going to be on primetime TV and we're going to have a lot more eyes on us than any other game in the rest of the season. You're telling me you're going to dock my pay for that? I ain't playing. See what I'm saying? So everyone keep that in, in you know, in their, in, in their memory and, and, and try to be a little less biased. I know y'all love y'all favorite fighters, but come on, put, you know, like, be realistic about it. Like, Y'all work jobs too. Y'all find ways to get income. Like, how would you feel about your boss lowballing you when you put in all the work that is needed for you to get the amount of money that you know you should get? You want to be cool with that? So don't do that to these athletes. At the end of the day, that's how we're doing it. Black Goose TV. Got some more videos coming out today. Look out for them. You. Yeah.